Hold on. Okay, guys. Back with another video. This is a different video from what I normally do. I'm gonna make a voice call and I'm gonna show you guys step by step how I make a speaker voice call. Okay? So, first thing first, alright? This tin, this piece of tinning, I cut this from a soda, a soda can. Like, uh, this is a Sprite. Also, yeah, I use a Sprite here. You could use a uh, beer can too and stuff like that. Or uh, any energy drink can. Yeah, it's basically the same diameter of like, you know? the one that the car wrapped on so I got this you could see both sides are same color because I sand it off so I sand it and then I cut it like this yeah okay, I don't really need that much for the speakers gonna work going to use a PRV I'm making a voice call for a PRV 8 inch and this one is a it's not the expensive one but you know yeah, the guy need them need, you know? So, yeah. All right, so this is the PRV. I'm making the voice cover. I have four of them I'm making the voice cover. Okay. And the gauge wire you use to make that speaker voice cover for it to be loud, because they're really loud, is 30 gauge. 30 gauge. All right. All right, all right, all right. So this is a magnet wire, okay, and then I have these epoxy, I could use the five, um, five minute epoxy but I use these because I want, in case I make a mistake, I have time to correct myself with this epoxy you could, you know, unwind, it, unwind the coil and then you, are, you know, after you unwind it you, you start again understand with this yeah so you don't dry that quickly so you have enough time to play around you understand so and then I have this it's a tile I use to mix the epoxy on and then I have this piece of pipe that matches the diameter of the voice coil inside here yeah but I have to put some strip like I cut this from a soda bottle these we call them extra strip or shim, whichever you want, whatever you want to call them. So, and you get the diameter of this, and then you use these to put here so the coil come out the pipe easier. So, you know, okay, if you put the epoxy on it while you're doing it, and then you dry and you want to take the voice coil off, yeah, it's gonna make, yeah, make a mess. So, when you do that, it's easier to take these off. You just, I'm gonna tape this side, I'm gonna tape this side after you remove the tape and stuff. You gently pull it out. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. But first I have to get a little measurement right here for now. So I'm gonna get the same diameter like this here. So I'm gonna mark this with a marker right here. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Alright, so that we have a little more. It's alright, guys. I'm going to cut this little piece off. Let me cut it right around here. Go again. Alright, see, 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 see. That should be it. That should be it. Alright. So next thing I do, I get this tie strap here. Some small one. Well I'm yeah, I'm gonna do something before I do that, but let me just prepare these. I use three. I get this little ruler. So to make an eight ohms voice card from a 30 gauge, why I need like let me see now. Here I would have. 
an off inch there. Yep, I'm gonna use off inch. So I'm gonna use off inch. So I need an eight tones voice cord, so I'm gonna with that, with a 30 gauge wire. Yep, I use, I'm gonna need half inch of coil winding space for me to wind the column. At least half inch. Yep. Yeah. So, then I do that now. So I do this. I'm gonna draw a line right down this piece of aluminum thing. Alright. Alright. So that so that's half inch of the line is half inch, so I measure this like this here. Okay. If I get this here now. I do this. Okay. Come on, and I do this. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yeah, I just wanna keep this in place a little. We could do that. Turn it up a little bit. All right. These now I have to put this now. Call this shim or X tray shit. Are you gonna remove them after? Okay. Okay. Yes, I get this to right to right where the line is. I cut all of those. Alright, so I use this to rough up this a bit. This way the voice coil is hard to slide off the metal so I rough it up don't make it too smooth that's not good so yeah you have to rough it a little bit 
put my across it to take off the excess tin. All right. So, as I said, half inch. If you need an eight ohm coil from a 30 gauge wire. So, okay. Next thing I'm gonna do now is mix some epoxy. First, let me get some tape. I'm gonna use tape. I love some tape. So some masking tape. So I, I prepare some like this. I put them here. I'm gonna be needing. I'm going to need them a little bit from now. So now, all right. So I have this here. Wire. Put the wire. So I put it on the floor. You can put the wire on the floor, whatever where, where you want to put it, but I put it on the floor so it, this wire is really thin, thin, so it's easy to get and get tied up. So it's really hard to untie when, when it does that, so So this is the this is the ordner. Alright. We don't need a lot. This voice call is just two ohms. Alright, so let me show you. You need just that amount. Yep. And I mix this one till it turn white, not clear, it turn white. So, turn white, it takes, uh, it dry quicker than, and it, when you cure it, it's stronger. Once you mix it like this, if you mix it too clear when it dries, it's, yeah, it's, it doesn't dry that hard. It kind of have a, like a, I would say, mm, not too sure to put it, but a rubbery feel, but it's like really thin rubber. It's like you touch it, it just I use a finger to strip it, just yeah, coming apart. Like you know, it's not burning. So you have to mix it good for it to burn. Like that's it. You mix it so till it look white. You know, not clear white. Right, so when I do this now, I put some right here. This is where I'm gonna wind the voice voice coil to this side, not this side. As I told you before, you only need a half an inch of, of the tin foil, the tin to do to make a eight ohms voice coil from that 30 gauge wire. All right. So next thing I do now, guys. All right. So everything I do is for a reason. Why use the tie shop? I can do this. I wrap these around this strip up here. Then I pull this a little tension on this and I wrap this like this. And leave that like that. And then now I can go ahead. So I'm using a drill right here. So first I started off with my hands. Well let me get Something else I forgot to do. Wrap this section of the voice coil. Yeah, wrap that section. I supposed to wrap this side too, but I wrap down here something, but not for now. I don't think this is gonna be a bother right now, but let me just give it a little wrap for now. Alright, 
So now guys, I'm gonna do it like this first. Hold on, hold on again. Put more tape here. So I don't want this extra strip or shim to move while I'm spinning, turning it with my hands first. Before I start to use the drill to, to run it, run the voice coil, or to wind the voice coil, I should say. But you know. Make sure everything is in order here. Yeah, so you do that to make sure you catch it into place, like use your finger to make sure they are close together as possible and that way now okay so this way I can do this now okay I told you guys before See, it's, it's not in line right here, so I can use my finger to do this, like that, like that, like that. There's a space right here, yep. I don't want no space between the voice call. close as possible guys I said not even here should go to the turns that's so close you should make sure you do it This here, I'm gonna remove this now because I wanna see how far down I'm gonna go with the voice cry. What I did, you could do this while you go. Let's put some epoxy. To, when we're gonna come back up with the next turn and to burn it together meanwhile so make sure no space is between the voice car So guys, make sure you wrap this one tight. The first wrap tight as you can. As tight as... Uh, and then make the other turn on top like they are just... Start to make the other turn now. Put the other turn on top of this one. On top of the second winding. And please, when you're doing that, please don't. You have to be gentle and with this section when you're doing this side now. Because if you don't, it, this, the second, it will go right through the, the first wrapping you, you just did. You don't want that to happen because it shouldn't be like that. So I'm using my. And here for here. 
I could use the I could run the drill but I don't want to because this one is really thin that I'm using here so I don't want to run it and make a mistake with it right right now so I can do this I can go fast with this in my Coming up on some twining up right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want that to happen. That put a you put a little bump in the wire, so you have to remove it. Use a fingernail to get it out, but be careful when you're doing it because the wire might just go right, slip right through the second wrap, the first wrap you just did, and you don't want that to happen. You should have two layers, not, not one layer, not two layers into one, you know. <laughs> what did I just say? Two layers into one. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, could say that too. But you don't want that to happen. So you take your time and gently rub some of the epoxy that you mixed before on the wash card while you keep it. So as I said, be very gentle. As you could see right here now. This wire is twining up because it's so thin. Yeah. Okay. And whenever you want a speaker to play low, the thinner the voice coil, yeah, it's loaded, please. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, that's a, that's a secret, guys. Yeah, for this voice coil, yeah. Mid range um, voice coil ranges. Great wire is like 29, 30, some go to 31, like some little, little radios, like some, I'm not talking like subwoofer, really. I'm talking about some little radio, TV speaker, yeah, they go to, a, I'm not sure the gauge wire goes to, but they use some really fine one, yeah, I don't really mess around making voice card for those, I used to when I started out, but yeah. You know, I have bigger and better stuff to really pay attention to. But it was a good, it was a learning process too. That's why I can make these ones so without a problem. I start from some little fine one. A lot of people don't make this voice card. They are, yeah, they are scared to make this one with the wires so small I got almost at the end now all right so I wrap this one around this right here all right and then this so um, the excess tip up here at the end of it like uh, that just to keep it like this here so I can cut this and I'm gonna use a piece of tape now to do this and I'm gonna do something else about this now the rest of the epoxy and I'm gonna do this now go across here let it burn go right through the voice card okay, shouldn't have no space between it and to keep the band the voice coil to the other one and to the the tin that it's wrapped it's winding down so okay yes guys anytime you have any question I wanna know because this one come some people would want to know what wire to use to do what 
yeah but for the speakers that not all these speakers are gonna be the same 29 some is gonna be 29 great and I will do this yeah I like to use my finger to really touch it you know yeah it band yes guys so that's it for that one so that's how I make my voice calls well not all of them some is totally different if I was making a, a four layer it wouldn't be this way normally this way I don't use to make no four layer voice call not really you know yeah a four layer is mostly like a sub first like bass I mean when I say sub first you know so people call other speakers subs yeah but me I'm talking about like bass card and stuff yeah uh, component set, uh, you know, those home, home system subwoofers, yeah, or for the bass box, or uh, whatever, yeah. you know, yeah. You will see some of this voice call here yeah, in that, yeah, to make the full layer for those, yeah, but that's all. CNC electronics do it, guys. I told you before, and I also do transform the winding, but you know. We have a lot of places selling transformer. Now. There's no need for me to wind a transformer, but if I have one burnt up and I have the wire and stuff like that, I do it myself. But that's all different. Sometime I'll show you guys what I do, you know, do a video on a transformer winding and let you guys see what I'm talking about, just like what I do here just now. So I'm gonna even I'm gonna make a video of the me, you know putting it together in the speaker and let you guys know it plays and I also make inside out voice car where you have the voice call inside and you have on the outside so but for this video I'm just showing you guys for now what I can do you know so I do a lot of you know a lot of different stuff in electronics so you guys have a lot to see so <sighs> that's it for now and I'm gonna show you when I take this off and stuff and I'm gonna show you when I test it the ohms so you guys can see what I do, you know, and see the homes, so it's 8 homes and everything, so stay tuned for part 2 of this video, guys, and please like, subscribe, and a thumbs up, thank you very much. Hold on.